Hello, everybody. This is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I believe the title of this video should be In Defense of the Saints. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, uh, you know that I spend most of my time defending this doctrine, and that is that we are saved by the grace of God through faith alone in Christ alone. And in fact, that is the essence of what Christianity is. Salvation through faith alone in Christ alone. But time after time, we get confronted by religious zealots, heretics, who twist the scriptures and insist that faith alone is insufficient. They tell us that some kind of religious work is also required. So, myself and many other believers on YouTube we have to continually defend the basic doctrine of Christianity. Some people have said, well, where in the Bible does it say you're saved by faith alone? Well, there are so many verses that clearly state that. But if I had to pick one verse, I would cite Romans 328, where the Apostle Paul sums it all up. Paul says, in conclusion, he says, quote, Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law, unquote. Now, I don't know what could be more clear than that. We're justified by faith without the deeds of the law that clearly says we're justified by faith alone. And yet, time after time, we get corrected by these self-righteous religious zealots who are full of spiritual pride and they want to come and try to impose their religious rules on those of us who are saved by faith alone, in Christ alone. So I've made a lot of videos on this subject, and many of my brethren, brothers and sisters in Christ on YouTube, spend a lot of time stating this case and defending this most basic doctrine of Christianity. And when we argue that no religious work is required for salvation, it seems that uh, people will twist what we say and imply that we are saying that we should not do any religious work. They say that we are actually encouraging people to sin. We're giving them a license to sin. Well, nothing could be further than the truth. Personally, I, I've made numerous videos on the subject of Christians sinning. One is called Carnal Christians. Uh, the difference between must and should, the consequences of uh, sin on Christians. Many of us, we haven't neglected the subject, but when we make a video and we state clearly that we're saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, some of you want to attack us and say that we're encouraging sin. Now, my most recent video 
is cursed be gone and in that video I basically are saying that I'm shunning you people who are these religious heretics if you're going to insist on this heresy I just don't want you on my channel and if I, I will try to teach you and correct you but if you just want to add religious works and therefore nullify the grace of God then I'm going to tell you be gone you're blocked you're cursed you're shunned that's the point I made in the last video and I still had a couple of people try to make their comments and that uh, are insinuating that I am and other believers like me that we are implying that people it's okay for people just to Christians to go out and sin all they want so here are two replies that I posted to a couple of these people and, and then I blocked them shunned them I said in one comment I am sick of professing believers who insinuate that grace believers are encouraging sin you are blocked another one I said you know I am really sick and tired of people implying that grace believers are encouraging people to sin stop stop propagating this lie show me one instance of us saying go and sin all you like I have made numerous videos teaching that we should be diligent against sin I hope you will realize how offensive your insinuation is so now I'm making this video to challenge you people who keep on implying that we are encouraging sin I'm going to challenge you to produce one piece of evidence for your case show me one instance of a video or a comment from any grace believer where we are saying now that you're saved just go out and sin all you want give me one example you won't be able to produce an example because it's not true that's not part of our message so that's my challenge to you and if you cannot produce any examples of this then I'm going to tell you to shut up and stop making this false claim against us those of us who believe in salvation through faith alone in Christ alone are saints now I know that the Roman Catholic Church has hijacked the word saint they teach that a saint is a superhuman special Christian but the Bible says that every Christian is a saint a Christian and a saint is a synonymous word and a Christian or a saint is any person who relies entirely on Jesus Christ for their salvation we're not relying on our own personal righteousness for our salvation we are relying on the righteousness of Jesus Christ which is imputed on us we are given credit for the righteousness of Jesus Christ when we put our faith completely in him these are the Saints and I'm defending the Saints and the doctrine of salvation through faith alone and if you cannot produce any examples of us giving people a license to sin encouraging people to sin then shut up and if you can produce an example then I will personally rebuke that person that is saying go out and sin all you want I don't believe that I don't know any grace believer that does believe that so stop lying about us 
<clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Praise Jesus, our great God and Savior. Amen.